ਜਿਵੇਂ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਂ ਕਮਰੇ ਦੇ ਪਰਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਇੱਕ ਘੂਰੀ ਵਰਤ ਕੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ 100 ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦੱਸ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਜਿਸ ਤਰੂ ਦੇ ਨੇਤਰ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਚੁੱਪ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਹਿ ਜਾ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਘਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਆ ਕੀ ਹੋਣਾ ਪਰ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਇਜ਼ ਸਕੇਅਰਡ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਹੈਪਨ ਦੈਟ ਨਦਰ ਦੈਟ ਗਲੈਂਸ ਇਨ ਇਟਸੈਲਫ देयर इज फियर देयर इज पावर एंड द चाइल्ड इज सबमिटेड टू दैट पर गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी महाराज हु इज द मास्टर ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड तख्ता दे मालिक कल की तर पाछा नीले घोड़ दे सवार चिट्टियां बाजा वाले व्हेन दे लुक अक्रॉस द संगत भाई नंद लाल जी इज सेइंग हे सच्चे पाछा मेरे को थोड़ी नजर चली नहीं जाने आई कैन नॉट बेयर वन साइड ऑफ मी सेज आई कैन आई डोंट वांट यू टू लुक एट मी मेरे वल ना ही देखो महाराज आई कैन बेयर इट ਪਰ ਔਨ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਇੱਕ ਪੱਖ ਮੇਰੇ ਮਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੁਕਤੀ ਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਹਿਰ ਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਬੰਧਨ ਟੁੱਟੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਪਰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਮੀ ਸਟਿਲ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਯੂਰ ਗਲੈਂਸ ਆਈ ਵੋਨਟ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਬੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਮਾਈ ਈਗੋ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਬੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਇਟ but i know if you still look at me it will kill me but still kill me let me die because you will liberate me if you look at me once ek nadar jab hum hote tab tu nahi ab tu hi main nahi anal agam jaise lehar mein udad जल के वल जल माही तू दरियाओ दाना बिना मैं मछली कैसे अंत लहा जह जह देखा तह तह तू है तुझते निकसी फूट मरा मूक उचर शास्त्र खट पिंग गिरन चढ़ जाए आंद लखे बद रो सुने जो काल कृपा कराए कहां बुद्ध प्रभु तुच्छ हमारी वर्ण सके महिमा जो तिहारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी राम कली सद एक ओंकार सतगुर प्रसाद जग दाता सोए भगत वछल तह लोए जियो गुर शब्द समावे अवर न जाने कोए जियो अवरो न जाने है शब्द गुर के एक नाम ते आवहे प्रसाद नानक गुरु अंगद परम पद वी पावहे आया हकारा चलण वारा हर राम नाम समाया जग अमर अटल अतोल ठाकुर पगत ते हर पाया आया हकारा चलण वारा हर राम नाम समाया जग अमर अटल अतोल ठाकुर 
ਭਗਤ ਤੇ ਹਰ ਪਾਇਆ ਰਾਜਾਨ ਰਾਜ ਪਾਨਾਨ ਪਾਨ ਦੇਵਾਨ ਦੇਵ ਉਪਮਾ ਮਹਾਨ ਚਵਰ ਛਤਰ ਤਖਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਾਲਕ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਦੇ ਸਰਗੁਣ ਸਰੂਪ ਜੋਤੀ ਅਨੂਪ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਰੂਪ ਤਨ 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 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਨਿੱਘੀ ਗੋਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੁੜ ਬੈਠੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰੂਪ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਬਿਆਨ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਭਾਗੀਆਂ ਘੜੀਆਂ ਬਖਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਲਾਹੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹ ਸਵਾਏ ਮਾਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਰੂਪ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅਗਲੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੁਝ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਰਾਮ ਕਲੀ ਸਾਧ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਭਾਸ਼ਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਬਿਗਿਨ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਆਰੰਭ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਲੈਟਸ ਫੋਲਡ ਆਰ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਦ ਸਿਟ ਵਿਦ ਆਰ ਬੈਕ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਤਿਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਕਮਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰ ਕੇ ਹੱਥ ਜੋੜ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਕਲਗੀ ਤਰ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਬਖਸ਼ੇ ਹੋਏ ਭੰਡਾਰਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਜ ਵੱਜ ਕੇ ਫਤਿਹ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਾਉਣੀ ਆ ਸਾਰੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਗੱਜ ਵੱਜ ਕੇ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੁਲਾਓ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਰਾਮ ਕਲੀ ਸਦ ਇਜ਼ ਕੰਟੇਨਡ ਇਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫਟਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਆਨੰਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਨ ਰਾਮ ਕਲੀ ਰਾਗ ਆਨੰਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਰਿਸਾਈਡਡ ਬਾਈ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਥਰਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਹੈਲਡ ਦੇਅਰ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡਸਨ ਹੂਸ ਨੇਮ ਵਾਸ ਆਨੰਦ ਜੀ ਹੋਲਡਿੰਗ देयर ਈਅਰਸ ਇਸ ਰਵਣੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਉਹ ਸੱਚ ਹੈ ਸੁਣਨਾ ਨੋ ਪਠਾਈ holding this baby's ears describing what the purpose of those ears is in this in this world seeing the little child stick out their little tongue what is the purpose of this tongue guru amar das ji describes in that bani of an unsight which we read every single day seeing the eyes seeing the hands and the feet guru amar das ji maharaj will describe it an unsight we read when a child is born at the end of every divan every morning every evening in your evening at the name as well then you read it at every birthday party every sukhni sahib pog every anand karaj you read anand sahib but you also read anand sahib at the at the end of a funeral when a funeral takes place anand sahib is read at the end of life at every moment in a guru sikh's life anand sahib exists pyare right after anand sahib in aad sri guru granth sahib sachhe paatsha ji's bani there exists ram kali sad these six paudiyan six charan of ram kali sad they describe those moments when guru amar das ji sachhe paatsha the third guru when they're leaving this physical body when oh apna is sharir ch lana kar rahe hai when they're leaving this body what are the moments described what is the vichar and the contemplation in this bani pyareo there is maryada described there is history described there is brahm gyan there is spiritual wisdom described many factors such as this contained in these six charan in these six pauriya sad the literal meaning of sad comes from a word that we use in our modern day language as well you know apa kehde ne sadda a calling when your mother calls you for dinner downstairs apa kehde ne na prashad de da sadda aa gaya the call for dinner has has arrived it's time to go and eat but pyareo my beloved brothers and sisters some things in life may not be guaranteed but there's one thing that there is guaranteed there will be a sadda for when you have to leave this world ਸੰਸਾਰ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ there is a pakka calling somebody called a mahapurk and they asked him on their phone 
And they said, can you tell me my future? The saint says, I can tell you right now. I'll tell you the future right now. Really? On the phone? Immediately you'll tell me my future? He said, yes, I'll tell you right now. Okay, what is my future? And the saint said, Tu marnaya. <laughs> that you will die. <laughs> because that is guaranteed, that is the future for all of us. And sometimes we shy away from that. The call of death is upon us. In this world, in this life, when we walk this path, sometimes we stray to one side or the other. If we are a drop of water that is trying to travel and merge with the ocean and traveling through the river, Mirza stretched is what stretches to the word which we use every single day called Maryada. Living in that remembrance of death, staying within that river's banks, Mirza da Arth Daryada Kanda, the bank of a river. Je jal darya de kandiyan de vich rave, seeme de vich rave, te ek din samundar vich ja ke samundaya. If it stays within the river banks. But if it doesn't, ah, Pyaryo Pai Veer Singh ji lekh deya, ek din abhyas kar deya. Pai Veer Singh ji says, that I sit and I watch the river. Paani da tapka ja ke, patthar nal takarandaya. It hits the rock, and uchi deni chuk, cheek maar reya. The water cries out. Once it hits the water, it cries out in pain. And the water screams in pain because it leaves the water, it leaves the river. It lands on the side. The sun shines upon that water and it burns, it evaporates in the heat. Another drop of water hits and cries in pain. And it goes and lands in the soil and it's absorbed in its own sook. But it was separated, it left the river bank. It did not get to reach the ocean. And this remembrance of death, living with this code of conduct of Maryadda, is what is taking us to our future. And that future which is guaranteed for every single one of us. Whether we like to remember it or whether we don't. There are some things. Why worry about those things that may not even happen in life? You worry about your rich cars and the luxuries, luxuries of life. Why worry about those things? And why worry about death? Why worry about something that's going to happen anyways? That is guaranteed. If somebody went to work and they had a doubt that maybe their employer is not going to pay them that day. There would be a chinta, but if you knew you you were guaranteed in your contract that you will be paid every two weeks, then chinta ni chinta mukjandi. You know you're guaranteed you will get your paycheck every two weeks. You're not worried about it every single day. You don't sleep lose sleep over it because it's guaranteed. But there are in life, death is guaranteed. So why worry about it? But worry about some things that may not happen. What may not happen? You might waste your entire life away and not actually do your simran that you came into this world for. You might come into this world, you might leave those riverbanks and you might not actually connect to Paramatma. You might continue going down in the cycle of birth and death and birth and death again. Sad is that call, that song of death. Not only it is the call, Paramatma da maut da sadra. The call of death itself, but it is also a term used for a song. After when somebody passed away, these songs would be sung, which would have a very long la. The words and the songs would be stretched out to great length, just like somebody is crying out in virag. But a virag de which lambi hook de which ek sadra gaya janda siga. In the longing of the person that has passed. But in this world, people cry out of the pain of separation. But Pyaryo, this Sad in Raag Ramkali has that Brahmgyan and the essence of Amrit that Guru Amr Das Ji Maharaj spread throughout their life. And that's why after Anand Sahib, Puri Anand, which, which we read at our birth, at our Anand Karajas, during our Sukhmani Sahibs and our graduations, every morning and every evening, we also read at the time of the funeral. 
But Ram Kali Sad, the call of death, and what do we sing after that? How did this Bani take place? Ede bare pyareo vichar kariye. Tan tan Guru Arjan Dev Ji Sache Patsha. Pancham Patsha, as they were collating the grunts, the potiya, to be able to compile Ad Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, they traveled to Goindwal Sahib. They wanted to meet Pai Mohri Ji, Pai Mohan Ji, who were the sons of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. When they went there, Ona Ji Kolon Ja Ke Jadon Pothiya Lengya from Baba Mohan Ji. Baba Mohri Ji also requested Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, the fifth Guru, the sons of the third Guru from the Palle lineage. They asked the fifth Guru, they say, Guru Sahib Satche Paatsha, Koj Din Rai Ke Saadhe Kar Vich Vich Charan Pao. Can you come and travel to our house as well? Can you stay at our house? Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, Bachan Manike, they enter the house of Baba Mori Ji. Baba Mori Ji with their family is such love and respect. Sache Pacha Ji De Charan Toye, they wash their feet. They sat them down on a beautiful palanga, a great throne, a bed. They fed them prashada made with love. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Sache Pacha Ji Ne Prothe Aram Kita. They rested that night. In the morning, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj woke up at Amrit Vela, Japji Sahib Da Paat Kita. They read Japji Sahib Ji Da Paat. They did Ishnan. After doing Ishnan, they had a desire. They wanted to go and take Baba Mori Ji to Jithe Byasa Nadi Si. That river, period where Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj would travel every day. They traveled to Byasa Nadi there, close by were the houses of Tantan Sri Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj and Tantan Bibi Pani Ji when they lived in Goindwal Sahib. This was, this was the father and mother of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj went and saw the old home, the old house, the Dehura of their mother and father. And then there they also wanted to see the Dehura, the house of Tantan Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. Of Mata Mansa Devi Ji. Ona Devi Ja Ke Dehure De Darshan Karna Del Kita. They had a desire to go and see their houses. Jadon Ona De Ja Ke Darshan Kite. Othi Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. They bowed down out of respect. They did Prakarma around the house. After doing Prakarma, they sat down and they had a great desire. Living and seeing that house and that place. Where Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. Where they lived their life. They had this desire to hear of how Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj left this physical body. When their last moments were, what were their bachan? They wanted to hear it from the people, from the family that was there and witnessed it themselves. And Pyaryo, from the Palle family, Baba Mohan Ji, Baba Mori Ji, they were the sons. Pai Anand Ji, they were the grandson. Pai Anand Ji arrived there and not only Pai Anand Ji, but their son, Baba Sundar Ji also, also arrived. Baba Sundar Ji was the great grandson of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. That's why in this Ram Kali Sad, at the very last Pada, you will see Keha Sundar. Baba Sundar Ji's name is there. This Varni is given to them as a Saropa. It is recited by them. Baba Sundar Ji arrives and Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj requests Baba Sundar Ji, say, Baba Ji, tell us the moments when Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj left this physical body. What were their last bachans? What to do after I die? Because what does the world do? They cry, they pull out their hair, they scream in pain. They sit there and they do absos. But what did Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj say? Guru Arjan Dev Ji had this desire. Baba Sundar Ji folded their hands and they said, Guru Ji, je thodi agya hove mirte bakshish karo. And like I have heard, I will describe it to you. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj ne kirpa drishti varsai. Baba Sundar Ji ne apne rasna toh sad ucharan kita. They recited this sad in such great poetry and this nectar of the life of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj was oozing out of this barney through the shans. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj loved it so much, Unhano Suropa Pet Karki, they included it in Gurbani, in Ad Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. That's why we read it today. And Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj Ji De Bachan, 
ਜਦੋਂ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਦੀ ਮੌਤ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਿ ਰਾਮਕਲੀ ਸਾਧ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਉਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਣੀ ਜਮਾ ਦੀ ਮਾਰ ਤੋਂ ਬਚ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮੈਂ ਬਚਨ ਕਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਰੀਡ ਰਾਮਕਲੀ ਸਾਧ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਪਾਸਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਵਨਸ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਪਾਸਸ ਅਵੇ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸੇਵਡ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਬੀਟਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਡੈਥ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਦਾ ਬੀਟਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਡੈਥ ਆਰ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਗੋ ਇਨਟੂ ਇਟ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਗਿਵਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕਰੰਟ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਵਾਟ ਦੈਟ ਪਾਥਵੇ ਆਫਟਰ ਡੈਥ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੈਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਪਰ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਂ ਬਚਨ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਜਮ ਕਾ ਠੇਂਗਾ ਬੁਰਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਹਿਆ ਜਾਏ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸੋ ਵਿਸ਼ਸ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਹਾਰਡ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਬੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਬੇਅਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਰ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਰ ਐਂਗਜ਼ਾਈਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਟਰਬਲਸ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਪਰ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਉਹ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਹਿਆ ਜਾਏ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਈਵਨ ਬੇਅਰ ਦੈਟ ਬਟ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਮਾਰਗਾਂ ਤੇ ਚੱਲਾਂਗੇ ਵੀ ਵਾਕ ਥਰੂ ਥੋਸ ਰਿਵਰ ਬੈਂਕਸ ਥੈਟ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੈਸ ਲੇਡ ਆਊਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟਰੂ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਲਿਬਰੇਟਡ ਫਰਮ ਇਟ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸੇਵਡ ਫਰਮ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਕਾਲਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਡੈਥ ਥੈਟ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਅਪਾਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਪਪਾਇਓ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਮੈਂ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਨੇਵਰ ਡਾਈਜ਼ ਉਹ ਅਮਰ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਇਮੋਰਟਲ ਬਟ ਦਾ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਬਾਡੀ ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਡਿਸਪਰਸ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਪਦਾ ਵਿਚ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਛੇ ਪਦੇ ਨੇ ਛੇ ਚਰਨ ਨੇ ਥਰਾਊਟ ਸਿਕਸ ਕਥਾ ਸਿਕਸ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਈਚ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀ ਪਦਾ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਬਚਨ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਰਿਸਾਈਟਸ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਪਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਫਰਸਟ ਪੰਕਤੀ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਔਨ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਟ ਦ ਸਟੈਟਸ ਫੋਰ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਲਸ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਫੋਲੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਡ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਬਾਣੀ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਮਰਿਆਦਾ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਚਾਰ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੂ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟੀਕੈਲਿਟੀ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਟਸ ਸਚ ਅ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਵੇ ਥੈਟ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਕੰਬਾਈਨਸ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਲਾਓ ਧਿਆਨ ਐਂਡ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਥਿਸ ਪਦਾ ਵਨਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰ ਲਈਏ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਪਦਾ ਜਗ ਦਾਤਾ ਸੋਏ ਭਗਤ ਵਛਲ ਤਹਿ ਲੋਏ ਜੀਓ ਗੁਰ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸਮਾਵੇ ਅਵਰ ਨ ਜਾਣੈ ਕੋਇ ਜੀਓ ਅਵਰ ਉਹ ਨ ਜਾਣੈ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਏਕ ਨਾਮ ਤੇ ਆਵਹੇ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਨਾਨਕ ਗੁਰੂ ਅੰਗਦ ਪਰਮ ਪਦ ਵੀ ਪਾਵਹੇ ਆਇਆ ਹਕਾਰਾ ਚੱਲਣ ਵਾਰਾ ਹਰ ਰਾਮ ਨਾਮ ਸਮਾਇਆ ਜਗ ਅਮਰ ਅਟਲ ਅਤੋਲ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਭਗਤ ਤੇ ਹਰ ਪਾਇਆ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਜਗ ਦਾਤਾ ਸੋਏ that one creator parmeshwar jo advaitya jo adi vyadi swagat ped sujati vijati swagat ped ped the all divisions and duality that which live and create within this world is beyond that and through guru's kripa we find of ek ongkar satgur prasad that creator jag data the giver the creator of this world itself that illuminates within this world ਭਗਤ ਵਛਲ ਤਹਿ ਲੋਏ ਜੀਓ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੀ ਰੀਡ ਇਨ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸੁਰ ਲੋਕ ਮਾਤ ਲੋਕ ਪਾਤਾਲ ਲੋਕ ਤਹਿ ਲੋਏ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਦ ਹੈਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਹੈਵਨਸ ਦ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਦ ਪੁਰੀਆਂ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਪੁਰੀਆਂ ਦ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਪੁਰੀਆਂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰਹਲਾਦ ਪੁਰੀਆਂ ਥੋਸ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਵੇਰ ਦ ਸੇਂਟ ਸਿਟ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਔਨ ਦੈਟ ਆਰ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ in gurbani
Just like a mother watches the child blabber on, say the first words within the first year of the child's life, or the second year of the child's life. Totaliyan gallaan bachya karda ya, par maanu bada ek preem a raya. The mother loves it so much. She feels it. She smiles and she laughs in the same way the pagat. Ek pagat mera hirda hai vasa hai, naamay dekh narayan hasa hai. Pagat Namdev Ji says that I just take this one aspect of Pagati and instill it inside of my heart. And when I do this Pagati, when I do this devotional worship, this great creator of mine, Namme Dek looks at me, Namma, and laughs, Hasdeya, they smile. Because what pleases the creator? If you want the Bakshisha of somebody, Apa Unan Dinal, Unan Khushkaranda Trika Labaraya. If a husband wants to please the wife, the husband finds what things will make the wife happy. If the wife wants to please the husband, the wife will find those things that please the husband. The brother finds what pleases the brother. The child finds what pleases the mother. Pyaryo the Pagat finds what pleases the Creator. In this world, in all three worlds, the Creator has manifested and is pleased and takes care. The caretaker, the lover. Wherever there is a Tattenu Sihari, you, through the grammatical sense, you can understand that is referring to Pagati. The aspect of doing Pagati. Who is considered a Pagat? Is a Pagat somebody that just read one Chaupai Sahib once in their life? And says, you know what, I'm going to do karle. That is the way we think sometimes. You might have gone to Gurdwara Sahib once a week, a little bit. Been a little bit religious. You know what, I, you might think I have a good heart. But who is considered a Pagat? Pariyo Pagat Uwa, jene sari zindagi, us prema Pagati vich pej ke apani sari zindagi kalla kalla swas bada dita. They spent every breath of their entire life Drenched in the loving devotion of the Creator. Where every breath and every morsel of food, sauce and grass, they are living in that remembrance drenched. That is what we considered a pagat. And the Bani before Ramkali Sad, Anand Sahib, the 14th party of Anand Sahib explains to us what you read every single day. It describes what this path Easily what a Pagat is. Pagatan ki chal nirali. Chala nirali Pagatan keri bikham marg chalna. Lab lob ankar taj trishna bohot nahi bolna. Khanyo tikhi walo nikki et marg jana. Gur prasadi jini aap tajya. In this path, in this world, the Pagat walks away in a way that the world doesn't. We think and we fall under the pressures of this world. The saints will walk one direction. They will walk towards the Creator. The world may put pressures to say you must please in the world. You must go and enjoy the luxuries of the world. You must fall lazy. You must enjoy your sleep. But the saints, they're doing something that the world say, Whoa, 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 that's way too much. You sacrifice your sleep for your love of Pagati. You don't go and enjoy the taste of your tongues. You don't go and enjoy the taste of your eyes and your ears. What about all the songs? What about all the luxuries? What about chasing all the women and the cars and the pride? What if you can get praised so much? Don't you want all of that? Why do you want to be the dust of everybody? Why do you want to be nobody? Why do you be, want to be so carefree? There is a path of pleasure and love that, experience, that is experienced through Pagati that cannot be experienced in the world. And those that have tasted it, only they will know. That's why Pagata Tasan Sariya Jod Kadena Aya. They can never walk the, down the same path because one is traveling south and one is traveling north. It cannot happen. And the Pagats, as they walk this path, Sachi Gale, it's a Narala path. And in this Pangati, it describes all of that. What is a Pagat's life like? Lab, Lob, Ankar, Taj, Trishna. Bohut nahi bolna. Wah. 
they renounce the love, the greed, the lobe, the desires, ankar, the pride within themselves, taj trishna, and any desire for this entire world because they have tasted something much greater. And they don't speak much within this world. They don't speak the language of the world. And I want to share a little bit of that because we want to understand in what form can we do this Pagati. What does Pagati look like in your life? Pagati comes in many forms, but it's described and passed to us through these nine forms. First is Sarvan, Sarvan Pagati, which is just listening. And this aspect of listening where you listen to Katha through your ears, you listen to Kirtan, you listen to the Guru's Updesh, you listen to Hukam Nama, you put your mind down and you just absorb and you listen. If you have something within your mind and that you are taking Guru Sahib's Bachan and you are playing around with it and mind, I like this but I don't like this, I agree with this but I don't agree with this, you're not really listening. If you are here but you're not present here, your mind is somewhere else, you're not really doing Pagati. You're not doing Sarvan Pagati. You must be able to just sit and listen and absorb till you get to the depths where you can hear the Anahad Shabads of this world. You can hear the unstruck sounds of this world and just through listening, you are performing this devotional worship. That is one form. That is one way method to do it. The second is through Kirtan. Kirtan is now you're not just listening anymore, but through your tongue, you are praising the Creator. You are praising Paramatma. When you do Kirtan and it is not praise for yourself, it is praise for the Creator. If you sit and you're singing, but in your mind the praise is, wow, I have got a great voice. Wow, my tune was sick. Nobody could put a, such a composition like me. Wow, look how many people are coming to listen. Look how many views my video got. It's not me. Maharaj, all the praise is you. Nobody knows who I am. Nobody knows what I am. And I praise you when you sit in front of Guru Sahib Ji Satche Pacha. And you say, You are the great, you are the protector, you are the doer, you are the cause, you are the giver, you are the protector, you are the most beautiful, the unfathomable. The, through that praise, And you live your life through every word, every button that you do within your friends, within your spouse, within your families, with your kids, it becomes kirtan. Kirtan pagdi. The third type, Pyaryo, you know, simran pagdi This is where you are just living in that constant remembrance where it has now gone beyond listening and beyond speaking. And it's absorbed within your mind, absorbed within your mind to a state where you can never forget the presence of the Creator. Wherever you look, you see that Creator. Paramatma, He's another Aryaya. And wherever you look, you are not far away because you are in front of me at every moment. Seeing Parameshwar everywhere. Simran Pagati. It can spend days and days talking about every single one of them. Fourth is Pad Sevan Pagati. This is where you take a Gursik. Kise Rup Vich Charna Di Seva Karni. By Gurdas Ji ek bachan kar deya, which they teach us. Taise Gur Sikh ko chaap pag swaye ka. This form of pagti, where you bring a Gur Sikh into your home. Guru Sahib Ji de charna, ja Gur Sikh ka andar sat Gur varta hai. Through the sad sangat, you clean their feet. You wash their feet. And Bhai Gurdas Ji says this beautiful bachan. If you are to bring a Gur Sikh into your home, keep massaging their feet until they fall asleep, then that is equivalent to having the great darshan of the 20 greatest sadhus that you may ever feel, find in this lifetime. Having the darshan, ek ju sadhu mohe mileo, tin liya until you find one sadhu in, in your the, the lifetime, and you will be liberated. 
But imagine the, the fall or the fruit of receiving the darshan of 20 sadhus. If you just do seva of one gursik, massage their feet. Where you're with your hands, you're serving. You're cleaning the jode. You're falling and touching the feet of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj's darbar. Charnandi seva, this happens physically and non-physically. That is a form of bhakti as well. The, the fifth, where we speak about archana. This is where you're in constant worship, where we do, we're doing chaurasam. This also happens in physical and non-physical elements. You're watching the clouds. You're doing the arti physically and non-physically. You have the chaur sahib. You have the chavar shatar. You have the every ang of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. Every palk, every palla, every cloth, every chadar. And then the clouds, the wind that is the chaur, the trees that become the fan. In that form and every single worship that you do of the sangat. That form becomes that fifth form of bhakti. Then we also go into bandhan bhakti. This is where you are sacrificing, you are giving. I sacrifice myself for you. I give myself to you again and again and again. I submit myself. You do this with your mind, with your wealth with your physical body, your time and your energy, even throughout this, that is a form of bhakti. Next is when you begin to become friends with Guru Sahib, with the Creator themselves. Sakha bhakti. When you sit with the Creator, and now the Creator is not just one you're worshipping, but is your mother, is your best friend. This is what Bhagat Praladji was. Bhagat Prahlad Ji knew that no matter what their father did, threw him off a cliff. Harnakash threw them down into the water to drown. Put them around fire. Even pulled out a sword and tried to cut their head and through that pillar, Prahlad said, yes, my creator is always with me. My lover is with me. They're my friend. They're my sakha. They're my beloved. They're my best friend. They're my brother. They're my sister. That relationship building, bringing that closeness and intimate intimacy with Paramatma, you then you're also doing Atma Nivedan. Through Atma Nivedan, this is where you're giving yourself consciously within yourself. When there was just me, I was separate to you. Then I lived within my ego of my bubble, my bubble of my ego. I didn't see throughout my lens. I thought the world just revolved around me. I came into this world, it's my pain and my pleasures, and I will leave this world. But when the water merges with the water, the light merges with the light, Parameshwar is one, and your existence is not there anymore. You do not, do not exist. And you've submitted that. Living in that consciousness and living in that bliss. There's so much that we can talk about. Many, many different forms. On and on and on. Many different forms it takes. Guru Mukhandi's darshan karne. Sangat vich turi barne. Doing physical seva. Speaking. Walking on a path. Grabbing two rocks like Bhagat Ram Dev Ji and smacking them together. That is bhakti. Living in the remembrance while you sit and you walk. Putting all your time and effort and doing seva and giving donation, that is form of bhakti. Jagdata soe pagat vachalat hel loe jiyo pyaryo mein binti kara. That bhakti, Pramatma loves this bhakti. Bhakti nal premya. If you binti kara through bhakti, there cannot be chaturanya. There cannot be cleverness. There cannot be trickery. You cannot trick Paramatma into doing something. You cannot make a trade with Paramatma. You cannot say, I do this much for you, and therefore, therefore you must give me this much. What type of love is that where we start making trades? That cannot happen between a husband and wife. That cannot happen with a father and a child. That cannot happen within true brothers. That cannot happen with friends. It is not a trade we make, it's not a transaction. And we say, TK, you help me this much, I'll help you that much. You scratch my back, I will scratch your back. Pyare with the Guru, <laughs> we can never give back what the Guru has given us. 
every breath that we have. We are ungrateful for every moment. In our mind, we do not live in that remembrance. We are not conscious of that. And if we start making these trades, we are bound to lose that trade and, trade and transaction. Jagdata soe, pagat vachalat ahloe jiyo. Paramatma, that creator that manifested throughout this entire world, created and through all of these worlds. Maharaj is the lover and the caretaker of those pagats. Loves pagati in this way. And only through pagati is Paramatma found. Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, Unane, and you know this history as well, Pyareo. When they came, they heard the bachan from Bibi Amroji. Because Baba Amar Das Ji, they were the eldest of four brothers. Char Prasi. One of the younger brothers, their son was married to Bibi Amroji, who was the daughter of Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj. Bibi Amroji, the daughter of Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj, the second guru, their daughter was married into the house of the third guru. And one day, Bibi Amaruji, Amrit Vele Utke, Gurbani Gari. Baba Amar Dasi felt such a cool thund within their heart. They felt it in their heart. What is this? They listened to it. Sarvan Karti. But they had the ear to listen to it. Their karma was there. And now they had met Guru Angadev Ji before in many of the wedding functions. You met many people, you just say Fateh, you walk past them, you never see them again. You don't really get to know them. But today when Baba Amar Das Ji travels to Khadur Sahib Ji, falls at the feet of Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj, it is not in the same state as a relative. It's not like a kodama. It's not a kodama meeting the other kodama. No. They fall at the feet and they say, even though I'm older than you, physically, Guru Angad Dev Ji even stood up to meet their relative. Baba Amar Das Ji fell at the feet and said, Today make me your slave. That is another form of bhakti out of the nine types. Dasa Pav Bhakti. Where you say, I am the slave. Maharaj, I am nothing. I am grieb. I am maskeen. I am nothing. And this Dasa Pav, the bringing this humility, that is a form of bhakti. Look how many forms there are. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. In what way do you contemplate? In which way do you make a request? Are you making this request to Akalpurk? Are you asking for Maharaj? Are you being intimate with Maharaj? Are you falling at the feet? Are you sacrificing? Are you feeling the one creation? Are you feeling the oneness with the Paramatma? Are you just listening? The Anahad Chabad? Are you singing the praises and the looking and visualizing the glory of the Creator? Baba Amar Ji falls at the feet and you know. The Baba Amar Das Ji, for 12 years, they did the most difficult seva. At such an old age, they carried the Gagar back and forth. They accepted Guru Sahib Ji's bachan no matter how difficult it was. Even when they fell and people called them old aged, even when people tried to kick them. Throughout their entire life, they performed this bhakti. They performed this love and at the end, of their entire life, Pyareo, they were around 94, 95 years old when they physically left this world. Jagadata soe, pagatavachalatahelloejiyo. This first pangati lays the foundation for everything that is discussed in this, in this barney. Ur shabd samavai, avarna jane koejiyo. That Baba Amar Das Ji Maharaj, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, became one with Guru Sahib Sache Pacha. There was no difference. They were immersed in the Shabbat. And Pyareo, immersing in the Shabbat, I Pyareo, I binti kana Shabdu muay, man man te maria. You die within the Shabbat. Your mind is, yes, it's listening to the Shabbat. Sarvan karya. It's listening, it's falling in love. In Gurbani, manu prerna meldiya. E man meria, tu sada sach ismal. Oh my mind, contemplate. Oh my mind, don't be lazy. Oh my mind, do this bhajan. Oh my mind, Go and love the Creator. Oh my mind, don't forget the Creator. Oh my mind, why are you being foolish and, and walking away from the path? Manu prerna melriya. When you're receiving this prerna, mind is losing something as well. Through this contemplation of the mind and the proactiveness of this mind, the mind loses itself. But if you live according to the mind, you cannot win over the mind. Shabdu mue, through this action and proaction of this mind, the mind dies. The mind does not exist anymore. But it happens, begins through the mind. Shabdu mue, man marte maria pyareo. 
ਗੁਰਮੁਖਾਂ ਵਿਦਵਾਨਾਂ ਸਾਧੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਬਚਨਾਂ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਜੋ ਇੱਕ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਪਦਾਰਥਾ ਭਾਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਵੇਅਰ ਜਬ ਆਕਾਰ ਇਹੋ ਕਛ ਨਾ ਦ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਟੇਤਾ ਵਾਹ ਵਾਹ ਸੁਖਮਨੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਬਚਨ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਹਾਂ that there comes the state in this mastana phase bhagatangi chal nirali where the akar that you physically see that this is blue that is white that is orange that is black you see begin to see colors but now you don't see any colors you see the arms moving but now the arm is not moving maraj you are the one that is doing it the actual physical akar begins to not exist ha one stage pehla pa kehne you maraj you are within everything there becomes a stage where you just don't see the akar anymore you don't fee see the other shape anymore maraj you are nirakar you are without akars you are without form and maraj i see that gur shabd samave baba amardas ji you might see their physical form you might see their physical body but do not think guru angad dev ji maharaj and guru amardas ji were ever separated do not think guru angad dev ji and guru angad guru nanak dev ji were ever separate do not think the guru's word today is ever separate from akalpurk do not think that those sadhus that are immersed today jinane sari zindagi bhakti karke oh parmatma vich abed ho gaye ha the sant turns into the beant the bhagat turns into the bhagwan this is what baba amardas ji guru amardas ji maharaj gur shabd samave avar na jane koi jiyo pyareo ede is tarike na arth samjho that other than those brahm gyani ki gat brahm gyani jane only they will understand what it means what that means to actually be immersed in gur shabd samave or the mind is dead there is no existence and pyare main ek aur ithe binti karan when guru angad dev ji just like you have a torch a light if it lights another torch does that torch stop giving off its light no it doesn't this isn't a presidency that where one president becomes the next president the other one's a former president now you don't need to listen to he loses his rights and all that kind of stuff <laughs> if baguru amar das ji maharaj is on the gurta gaddi then guru angad dev ji maharaj is still the form of akalpurk the light is igniting the other light but the original light does not go away like i said this is not a presidency system parmeshwar is everywhere hon bhi hai jado marzi jehda marzi roop dharan kar le gur shabd samave avar na jane koi jo nobody else will understand that only they will understand that and other another way to do that is gur shabd samave when there is just parmatma shabd omnipresent and permeating throughout this entire world in and an out, outside of you and you don't actually see the physical akar anymore then what else is there left what is there to be fearful of fear only exists when there's two jadon do hai when there's doubt and truth but when doubt doesn't exist there's only truth to fear only exists when something can attack me because there's something else and me but when there's not when i don't exist and you don't exist mere kada dar how can you have var how can you have fear gur shabd samave avar na jane koi jiyo parmatma tere to alawa hai hi nahi koi aur there's nothing other than you avar na jane shabd gur ke other than parmatma there is nothing else other than the creator other than that shabd that is omnipresent permeating throughout this world baba amar das ji guru amar das ji is one with guru nanak dev ji one with guru angad dev ji sachhe paatsha ek naam te aave and they are contemplating and connecting with that one naam they have become that form prasad nanak guru angad param padvi paave through the kirpa of guru nanak dev ji and guru angad dev ji through this blessing this mercy pyare prasad is always happening guru sahib's kirpa drishti is always happening pai nandlal ji ek bahut pyara vachan karde ha pai nandlal ji says chashme gohar bahar ma guru gobind singh ji sache paatsha takhtan te baith ke ਸਾਰੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਮਿਹਰ ਭਰੀ ਦ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਟੀ ਵਰਸਾ ਰਹੇ ਨਾ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਵੱਲ ਭਾਈ ਨੰਦ ਲਾਲ ਜੀ ਬੜੇ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਅਤੇ ਭਗਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਲਿਖਤ ਲਿਖ ਰਹੇ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਵਾਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਇਨ देयर ਹਾਰਟ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਹਿਰਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਂ ਕਮਰੇ ਦੇ ਪਰਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਇੱਕ ਘੂਰੀ ਵਟ ਕੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਸੌ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦੱਸ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਜਸਟ ਥਰੂ ਦਿ ਨੇਤਰ ਵੈਨ ਅ ਮਦਰ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਅ ਥਾਊਜ਼ੈਂਡ ਵਰਡਸ ਟੂ ਅ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਅਕਰਾਸ ਦਿ ਰੂਮ ਐਂਡ ਕਿਡਸ ਨ
When the child is doing something, the mother can look across the room and just with her eyes, she can scold the child and say a, million, a thousand words. But the child is scared. I don't know what's about to happen. That nadar, that glance in itself, there's fear, there's power. And the child is submitted to that. And the child almost doesn't want the mother to see some things. I might not be able to bear it. But Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, who is the master of this world, who created this entire world and can destroy this entire world. They're the creator, sustainer and destroyer themselves. Oh Guru Gobind Singh Ji Sache Paatshah, Takhtan De Malak, Kalgi Tar Paatshah, Neelay Kohr De Sawar, Chattiyan Vajan Wale. When they look across the Sangat, Pai Nandalal Ji is saying, Hey Sache Paatshah, Mirko Thaudi Nadar Challi Ni Jaane. I cannot bear it. So one side of me says, I, can't, I don't want you to look at me. Mere wal nahi, Dekho Maharaj, I can't bear it. But on the other side, Sache Paatshah, Ek Paak Mere Mand Vich, Evi Keh Raya, Ke Maharaj, Haan, Minu Pata Ke Thaudi Nadar De Vich, Mukti Ya. Minu Pata Thaudi Nadar De Vich, Meher Ya. Minu Pata Thaudi Nadar De Vich, Sare Bandhan Tutte Jaane. I know, Mere Kolo Challeya Nhi Jaana, Sache Paatshah, But please look at me still. Because I know your glance, I won't be able to bear it. My ego will not be able to bear it. I will not be able to stand it. But I know if you still look at me, it will kill me. But still kill me, let me die because you will liberate me if you look at me once. Ek another. Just one another. One time you look at me, I will be liberated. By Nandala Ji Sidh Maharaj, Satya Pacha, I won't be able to bear it, but still give me this glance of grace. Look at me with this grace, Satche Pacha. That's why, Prasad Nanak, Guru Angad, Parma Padvi Pavai, through this mer, through these blessings of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Guru Angad Dev Ji, Satche Pacha. Guru Amar Das Ji, Satche Pacha, they were one with the Creator. There was no difference. Parma Padvi, they, created, they, were, they received the highest status. They were the Parmeshwar, they were the Creator themselves. But even in this immerseness, when they did their seva, they served this entire world, they spread... Satnam da chakar faraya, just like Guru Nanak Dev Ji did. They created the Bali Sahib. There comes the time physically when everybody has to leave anyways. The one thing that is guaranteed. One thing that is the future for all of us. You don't need to check a magic fortune telling ball to tell you this. Okay, moth is on top of your head. The death is standing on top of you. And remembering that will help you fit everything into one straight road to tell you this is what your purpose is. We tend not to want to think about death. We think of it as a scary word. But that is a word that we live with. Every breath that is going outside of us is taking us closer and closer to our future. That if we will leave this physical body, Aya Hakara Chalanwara. And even to Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, Akal Purkhda Sadda Aya. There was this call that came. When that call arrived, Baba Amar Das Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj knew, Haan. It's time for you to immerse yourself in Satchkhand and become one. Move on into the next form. They know when their time has come. Baba Buddha Ji, they wrote a letter. Ramadas Di Tarti De Batke. They spent their entire life, they're over 120 years old at this time. They send a letter to Guru Hargubin Sahib Sache Pacha. Guru Hargobind Sahib Sache Pacha knew. They arrived. Ponche, Nal Baba Bidhi Chand Ji. Nal Pai Gurdas Ji. Ate Hor Anek Gursik. Pai Paragha Ji Varge. They all arrived and they sat with Baba Buddha Ji. Baba Buddha Ji, Apne Antam Swas, they sat down. Guru Hargobind Maharaj Ji Ne Hukam Kita. Baba Buddha Ji, Ekwari Jan To Paila. Sano Os Trike Nal Japji Sahib Ji Da Paar Sanado Jive Guru Nanak Dev Ji Ucharan Kar De San. Vahe Guru. If there was anybody, Aba Aja Pam Poch De Na Ki Japji Sahib Da Ucharan Kime Kita Jave. How do you recite Santhya Linne Ya? Can you just imagine Baba Buddha Ji who heard it from the tongue of Guru Nanak Dev Ji themselves? And Guru Hargobind Sahib Satche Pacha, who is Guru Nanak Dev Ji, says, Baba Ji, 
ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੁਣਾਓ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਉਚਾਰਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਸਨ ਦੋਸ ਪੌੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਰਸਾਇਤ ਦਮ ਦੇ ਵਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਅੰਗਦ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਯੂਜ਼ ਟੂ ਰਸਾਇਤ ਦਮ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਹੈਦਰ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਰਸਾਇਤ ਦੇਰ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਵੈਰੀ ਲਾਸਟ ਪੌੜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਹੈਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਇਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਰਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਚਰਨ ਦਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੈਨ ਦੇਰ ਆ ਰੀਡਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਕਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਕੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਜੋੜ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਅਰਾਈਵਡ ਇਨ ਕਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਦੇ ਅਰਾਈਵਡ ਇਨ ਸਰਮ ਖੰਡ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਵਸੈ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਅਰਾਈਵਡ ਇਨ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਇਨ ਸੱਚ ਖੰਡ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਦੇ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਬਾਡੀ ਦੇ ਲਾਸਟ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਲੈਟ ਗੋ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਪੁੱਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਲੈਪ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਰਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਲਾਸਟ ਵਰਡਸ ਵਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਮੇਡ ਮੈਨੀ ਮਿਸਟੇਕਸ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਖਸ਼ ਲੋ ਬਖਸ਼ ਲੋ ਭਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਬਿਧੀ ਚੰਦ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਟੀਅਰਸ ਫਲੋਇੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਦੇਅਰ ਆਈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਸਕਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੇਸ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸੋ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਨਿਭਾਈ ਜਾਵੇ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਵੀ ਲਿਵ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਡਿਡ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਡੈਥ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਅਪਾਨ ਯੂਰ ਹੈਡ ਯੂ ਲਿਵਡ ਲਾਈਫ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਵਨ ਦ ਗੇਮ ਬਾਬਾ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਡੂ ਯੂਰ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਪੁਟ ਆਲ ਯੂਰ ਐਫਰਟਸ ਇਨ ਗਿਵ ਲੀਵ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਹੋਲਡ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਗਿਵ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ and just don't ask for anything in return ask for the blessings of akalpurk this is how you do your uddam and beg for meher this is how you live sikhi aaya hakara challan wara har ram naam samaya that is true baba amar das ji guru amar das ji they were already one they were going to sach khand hor vi gurmukh pyareo one of our family friends man sometimes you think oh these are just stories from the past one of our family friends bujurg ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਹਾਸਾ ਵੀ ਲਾਫ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੀ ਸੋਰਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ 70 80 ਸਾਲ ਦਾ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਕਈ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਨਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਚੜਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਵਾਲੇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਜਸਟ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਰਗੇ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਵਿਚਰਦੇ ਆ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਜਸਟ ਸੇ ਟੂ ਦੇਅਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਚਲੋ 2 ਕੁ ਮਹੀਨਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਆ ਆਮ ਹੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਬਚਣਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਲੋ ਮੈਂ 2 ਕੁ ਮਹੀਨਿਆਂ ਚ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ and sara parivar kehnda pata nahi bapu ne kithe jana ya shayad dusre pind jana he probably is going to go to the different village ki pata wapas india si us mein ki pata canada wapas chal jana jada chalo main 2 mahine jana he said mera nawa ek chola swao mera kurta ke swao main nawa chola nawa kurta pa ke jana ya parivar kehnda theek hai nawa kurta swa dinne ya then the days came closer chalo mera hafta ka reh gaya ya ਆਮੀ ਬਚਨ ਕੈਜੂਅਲ ਪਰ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਬਚਣਾ ਜੋ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਚਲੋ ਮੇਰਾ ਹਫਤਾ ਕ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਆ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਾਪੂ ਟੈਕਟ ਟੂਕ ਤਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਕਰਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਬੁੱਕਡ ਐਨੀ ਠੇਕ ਇਸ ਕੀ ਪਤਾ ਅਗਲੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਬਾਪੂ ਸਾਡਾ ਦੈਨ ਦ ਡੇ ਕੇਮ ਦ ਡੇ ਕੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਵੋਕ ਅਪ ਇਨ ਦ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਚਲੋ ਮੈਂ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਛਕਾ ਦੋ ਮੈਂ ਫਿਰ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਮੈਂ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਛਕ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਆ ਹੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਈ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਹੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਸਵੇਰੇ ਦੁੱਧ ਛਾ ਕੇ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦਾ ਛਾ ਕੇ ਸੈਟ ਦੇਰ ਡਿਡ ਨਿਤ ਨੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਹਾਊਸ ਐਵਰੀਵਰ ਹੀ ਪੁਟ ਔਨ ਹਿਸ ਨਿਊ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਨਿਊ ਕੁਰਤਾ ਡਿਡ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਲੇਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਔਨ ਦ ਮੰਜਾ ਲੇਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਔਨ ਦ ਮੰਜਾ ਸੈਡ ਟੂ ਦ ਇੰਟਾਇਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਕੈਜੂਅਲੀ ਸੈਡ ਚੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਆਮ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਹੀ ਲੇਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਟੁਕ ਅ ਕਪੜਾ ਐਂਡ ਪੁਟ ਇਟ ਓਵਰ ਟੌਪ ਆਫ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਬ੍ਰੀਥ ਹਿਸ ਲਾਸਟ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ pyare when the family sari dihadi they waiting they were waiting and they said bapu sari dihadi sutta hai uthya nahi ghanta garam karda hun
or as big as the ocean, beyond the creation, Maharaj is. If the creation cannot be measured, could the Creator be? Jag Amar Atal Atol Thakur, the Master themselves, Pagat Te Harpaya, Param Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, Apani Pagati Rai, Os Parmeshan Upalaya. Os Pagatane, Pagatanki Chal Nrali, Chalan Nrali, Pagatankeri. Bekhamar, it's a very, a very thin path. It's like walking on the edge of a sword. It's very difficult to walk through these when your mind in this way. But they won the game. When they won this game, through Pagati, Onane Parmeshar Palaya. Pyareo, in this world, we want to attain that. We want to live that. And remember that call is upon us as well. Will we do this Pagati? Will we walk through this path of life and attain that same thing? Guru Mokha ne hukum ki ta siga ke aaj she sat dhamanna de vich go through the barni of Ram Kali Sadh. Ithi apam pille charan ja pille pade di apam samapti ki tiya vicharan kar diya ek nahi in ek prakati impul lancha ka galtiya ho gaya ne We'll continue doing this vichar in the following divans. Hopefully, Maharaj Kirpa Karan, Jaldi Do Jaldi, for those that may not be able to continue listening to it live, will continue putting it on YouTube and social media and other avenues that we have in this joke of technology that we live in. So, while speaking, while talking, I made many, many mistakes. Please forgive me. Anjana Bacha Samskar ki maaf kar dena. Asisam Bakshaniya, through your Asisam, we continue this seva. Through your Asisam, through your Ardasam. We still walk around and Istri can apply to Srivasti and for ourselves we do it at the Asardas that every breath of ours get Guru Sahib such a pacha third day turn on which never jave. Our Pyarium Fateh Di Sanj Pai Yeji Akhir Liyan Do Sang Pangatiyan Sarvan Karke Rasnaam Pavitra Kariye Ji Aya Hakara Challan Vara Har Ram Naam Samaya जग अमर अटल तोल ठाकुर पगत ते हर पाया वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह If you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe please donate and help spread guru ji's message link is in the description below वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह वाहे गुरु